going on guys? Welcome back to On the Farm and Off. Sorry about the wind in advance. Um, today, well, today, I mean, the sun is pretty low. It's fixing the set. I'm going to give you guys an update on the old Ford the 68 F-250 here. Um, well, not exactly an update. I'm just going to do a couple of things with it. Um, park it back in the shop because I don't want it standing out here. So, first thing I'm going to do is lift this heavy hood. I'm going to take that uh, air cleaner off and, um, of course, from this side, so the wind ain't bad. Take the air cleaner off and pour a little gas into the carb float bowl and um, see if she'll crank up. See if this gas is still good that's in here. That's how I was running it. And then I'll park it in the barn. I have a leak on my heater hoses right there, but uh, let me see if I can at least make it into the barn. There is still fluid in it, even pressurized. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, there is fluid in there. Or coolant. So. nice they're pretty beefy looking they are the Kenda cleavers are clever MTs and uh, black rock wheels they look pretty good it's a pretty good combination I need to take off everything off the bed here and my plans with this truck are to um, rebuild the engine or come and swap it. I think I'm just going to rebuild this engine and put a manual 4 on the floor like it's supposed to have in it. And get the four wheel drive rebuilt, the front differentials um, apart, as you can see. So we'll get that rebuilt. And uh, I did replace all the brakes on it, the front drum brakes. And I did not replace the rear drum brakes, just the front drum brakes. I replaced all the parts for it. So, yeah, let's get to the video and see if uh, I can get her to crank up. And, of course, I took the battery out, and it's going to be dead. It's on the back of my truck. Look how clean my truck is. Wow. But the battery is on the back of it. I just went and loaded it. truck close by because I'm going to have to boost it anyway. Alright, now let's hook everything up. Got me some brand new booster cables. Got the negative hooked up. Just moving it into the barn, so I'm not going to tighten these down. Hopefully it'll still work. I think as long as I turn it a little bit, there'll be enough friction. Okay, let me hook up the booster cables right quick. And a little bit of gas. I'm not quite sure if... I'm not quite sure if uh, these are the right. I'm gonna have to remove my air filter. I think these are the right holes right here. At least I'm not getting it everywhere. Pour a little bit in there. Put this at a safe distance. Very safe. Alright, got the cables hooked up. And, uh, 
Let's see if she'll crank over already or we have to let it charge for a while. Make sure it's in park. I might just start driving off. Give it a little lucky pumper. Three pumps. Alright, let's see what happens. and then I'm going to try to drive it in there right quick. get inside the barn right quick. Ooh, big doors are heavy. Alright, I'll probably park her in between my car and my old truck. So, let's see if, uh, wish me luck. I'm going to put you all over here. Wish me luck. I'll see if I can bring them in here.
this is a beast of a truck right here and uh, that was quite a bit of work but I got her done um, I'm gonna push her a little further further forward I don't really trust driving her because the brakes are <laughs> the back brakes are not bled or I haven't even checked the back brakes on them yet but uh, hopefully this year I'm gonna try to make it my uh, I'm gonna try really hard to rebuild the engine get a four by uh, four four speed top loader in it fix the full drive and get her street worthy and uh, use her on the farm I'm gonna put a gooseneck hitch on it I need to get all this junk off of here it's got two spare axles front and rear bunch of extra transmissions and uh, a Windsor 351 but uh, yeah definitely gonna try to get it actually I could close the barn door right now she's fine where she's standing so yeah that's the update for now gonna get a new gas tank for it um, the body is really straight on this truck it's actually in really good shape um, it's got some rust here and there uh, on the door here it's got a little bit of rust and then this quarter panel I'm gonna buy new fenders for it new front I'm gonna buy both side front fenders new ones and uh, I think I'll just deal with the doors that's okay I could even deal with that I could weld it closed with a plate if I wanted to but in the future if I ever would like to sell it it'd be nice to have it um, looking better I don't know if you can buy these chrome bez bezels or not but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys I'll try to put out more content I'm sorry guys I've been busy I, um, doing little things here and there that aren't important enough to film and I need to film more of this car here as well um, but I don't even know if she still starts up. She's collecting so much dust right now. As you can see, she's just all full of dust right now. But that's just sad. You shouldn't do that to a nice car like this. I'm going to get her street legal this year yet. And uh, I got a lot of things that I want to do. And no time to do it, feels like. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this video, guys. And uh, <laughs> I'm very impressed that she even started and drove I hadn't messed with her in months since before harvest because we actually parked it out there because we were gonna get this big thrasher out here um, out of this barn so I had to get her out of the way and that's the reason why she was parked out there and we had snowstorms and all sorts of stuff and uh, she cranked up those Ford engines are pretty reliable you can hear it's not healthy um, <laughs> I rubbed it pretty good but on a cold engine but that's fine I'm gonna rebuild it or have it rebuilt I'm not quite sure yet I'll see how much it costs um, I don't necessarily have all the time to do it to rebuild an engine but I was probably out of frame for a little bit but yeah thanks for watching this video guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one